one of the most indecisive but fair signs out there are Libras. In today's video, we're going to go more in depth in my newly added Zodiac series where I touch base on each sign from January to December and discover traits about each sign from when they're born each year to career paths that they're most likely going to gravitate towards. And in today's video, we're going to understand our indecisive and diplomatic Libra brothers and sisters. Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't seen my face before, hi, my name is Kanoi, and I make videos on business, spirituality, and lifestyle tips to help you learn, earn, and grow. If you are interested in this kind of content, don't forget to follow me on my socials right here. Go ahead and hit the like button, as well as the subscribe button, and the post notifications so you won't miss any future uploads from me. Before we get started, here's today's shout out. And if you want more information on how to get a shout out, go ahead and stay tuned to the end of this video. All right, Libras, you know that you are a Libra if you are born between September 23rd and October 22nd. The element that a Libra is born under is a cardinal air sign, and the planet ruling is none other than Venus, which represents all of the luxurious things in life, as well as femininity. I feel like Libras are the sign that tries to bring the peace at all times, in all places, in all situations. Libras are especially fair-minded individuals. They like to see both sides of the coin. They like to understand both sides of whatever story they're being presented. And the cardinal air really plays a lot in their fairness because they want to be able to not judge or assume things off the bat, especially when they are dealing with different people or talking to different people or in relationships with different people, they like to keep their mind open and as open as possible. And another thing is Libras don't like being alone. Don't get me wrong, Libras love their alone time, but they like to spend most of their lives with somebody around or a companion around. And of course, we all know that Libras are extremely <laughs> indecisive. Libras can't make a decision to save their lives. They will die before they have to make a set decision. And that is why it's good to have people around. That's why they don't like being alone, especially in certain situations, because they like to have somebody to mediate them and to really weigh out their options for them, especially when they have to make big decisions. Like, for example, moving out, like moving into a place or um, getting a haircut. Oh my goodness. What hairstyle do you want? Pick one. It's so crazy how all of these little things a uh, Libra is indecisive about. It's a lot of things that other signs or other people will know. They will know off the bat what they want and how they want to move forward with it. But with Libras, you got to give them a little bit of time to think about that. And that is a downfall. In general, you should know what you want and how you want to move forward with your life. And Libras are the epitome of indecisiveness. Another downfall for a Libra is that they like to play devil's advocate. If you are a friend of a Libra, you know this. You know that if you bring up a situation about yourself to a Libra and you know you're kind of playing victim you're kind of sprinkling the be on my side sauce and the Libra is kind of like okay but what does the other person think what what is their viewpoint how do they feel and that kind of can really uh turn you off especially as a friend to a Libra because Libras like to weigh both options and they like to see the whole story. They love to connect the dots and figure everything out. It is rare that a Libra will ever try to be in conflict. They'd rather keep to themselves and conserve their energy than waste it on somebody that's not worth their time. And this is extremely powerful, especially for a Libra because them being indecisive, although that's the case, they know when somebody is really not for them and they know when they should probably exit the conversation with a certain person. Moving on to friends and family. Libras have a lot of friends. I'm not gonna say that Libras have a lot of close friends. Libras like to have a small knit circle of really close friends, just like a few other signs I've mentioned. 
but they do have a lot of friends and acquaintances that they can contact in any situation whether it be they need help with something or they want to help them with something it, they all they always have somebody to contact also when it comes to friends if you are a part of that close-knit friend group with the libra you know that they love to put you first libras love to put their friends first they love to put their significant other first because they want to see the best out of the people that they love and they want to be able to help the people that they love as much as they can they will put their own feelings aside and really dive deep into other people's lives because the other person wants them to and that is a downfall especially in friend groups and relationships libras need to learn to be more selfish one thing i noticed with the libra and family especially when trying to avoid conflict is that a libra will hear or witness something from a family member that they completely disagree with but just to avoid further conversation or further interaction with that family member about something that they disagree with they just say oh yeah i agree and they just leave it at that because they don't want to continue to put that energy forth that person and that is a downfall libras are very to themselves they don't like conflict they they want to keep the peace at all times but sometimes libra you have to open your mouth and you have to say something because sometimes some things that people do in your family in your friend group in your relationship and you voicing your opinion will lift the weight off of your shoulder because now you know hey this is they know how i feel they know how I feel about this situation, about them, about everything that has to do with them. And I'm okay because I don't care what they think about me, so that's it. And that is something that overall Libras have to work on. But other than that, Libras really do care for their family. They will be there for their family when they need them. Moving on to relationships. Like I said before, Libras don't like to be alone, perhaps. And not in that context, in the context of, you know, living their life just alone the whole time. They want to have somebody or something by their side, whether it is a pet, a companion, or a significant other, a person to be there with them by their side through the ups and downs. That's what they admire the most and that's what they strive for in their lives. The two number ones. <laughs> In a relationship for a libra is commitment and communication and that is really big with a libra especially if something goes wrong of course relationships any type of relationship is a bumpy ride in general so being able to communicate with that person just makes it a hundred percent better and they also like fairness a lot of libras that i know like to split bills they like to uh share bank accounts they like to split everything down the middle that's what libras like to do they like the fairness they like the equality within the situation that they're in and they like to make sure that them and their significant other has enough room to be able to live their own lives but also contribute to the relationship equally. Moving on to career paths. Being that Libras are fair, they love to keep the peace, a lot of career paths that they're most likely going to gravitate towards are within the judicial system. Uh, a lot of Libras are judges, a lot of Libras are lawyers. Libras also will gravitate towards HR, human resources, and they will also gravitate towards marketing. A few compatible signs with the Libra are going to be Gemini, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. Moving on to likes and dislikes. They love to be able to take a day off of their busy lives to be able to spend some quality time, whether it be 10 minutes or an hour with the person that they love and that they enjoy talking to. They also love visually aesthetic things. I feel like Libras always gravitate towards that. Whenever you step into a Libra space or have a conversation with the Libra, you'll notice that they love to talk about a lot of things, like material things that they are looking at or that they really like. 
Um, so for example, a Libra that is into art, they love to find harmony within the art that they create. Libras also love to share, whether it be sharing experiences, sharing things, sharing conversations with others. They love to be able to open their minds and really put themselves in other people's shoes to understand how they are and the way that they live their lives. Surprising or not, Libras love to be in their space, they love to be where they're comfortable, whether it be outside in nature or inside. Libras love to be able to just tap into themselves alone sometimes. Libras don't like violence. They don't like people that are threatening to them, the people that they love, the people that they admire. They don't like people like that. They don't like people that will just say things and not act on them. They don't like people that will just take and take and take and never give. They don't like people who will say what's off the top of their head and say that it's facts. And Libras especially do not like conformity. They don't like the idea that everybody should do the same thing and everybody should be the same person. They don't like that. They like seeing people in their own skin. They like seeing people being interested in things that they like and being their own self, their individual self. They don't like being tied into one thing. So whether it be religion, whether it be a lifestyle, they like to explore differences, whether it's good or bad. They like to explore everything in their lives and everything in other people's lives if they're interested they will put their all into knowing more about it but that's not to say that they will commit their whole lives to it a few famous celebrities that are in fact libras are will smith serena williams donald glover and Gwyneth Paltrow. So that concludes today's video on my newly added Zodiac series covering the Libra. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you have any questions or comments for future videos or if you are in fact a Libra or you're with a Libra, let me know a few funny stories or anything that has to do with the sign in the comments below in order to be featured in my next video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll go ahead and see you guys next time.